one killer trading strategy can completely change your life. It can give you the momentum to go from zero to $45,000 per month, just like I did about two months ago when I had my best trading month ever. And over the last seven months, I've gone from just being profitable which don't get me wrong, I'm extremely, extremely grateful for, but now I'm absolutely rinsing prop firms with over $45,000 in one month, all because I moved away from ICT concepts and started to drastically simplify my trading strategy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy I use to make $45,000 per month trading only 45 minutes a day so that you can copy my exact blueprint and get the same results. And it all comes down to four simple steps. And the first step is the most important, but also the most often overlooked. Right, so the first piece of the puzzle is the higher time frame support and resistance. And for that, I utilize the four hour time frame. Okay, and on the four hour time frame, all I'm looking for is if price is heading in a certain direction and I see any kind of retracement in the opposite direction, I am then going to immediately mark out a support or resistance zone. Okay. And then similarly, if price continues to go and retraces and any uh, retraces at any point, I'm then going to mark on another support and resistance zone at that area. And this is on the four hour. Okay. And what this serves as as a guideline for us to take our lower time frame entries it does not need to be an exact science okay most of the time you're going to get signals on the lower time frame which will be the five minute which i'm going to talk about soon but you're going to get signals that um, allow you to get in and out of trades safely in any case okay but this gives you an added level of confidence so essentially you're going to mark on your four hour zones, right? And what you're going to do is on the five minute, you're going to trade in between these zones. Okay. And in a nutshell, what you're wanting to do is if price is up here and it's towards the top of this zone, you're not going to take buys into this brick wall of price. Okay. And if price is down here, you're not going to take sells into this brick wall of price you're only going to want to take buys if you're down here and you're going to want to take sells if you're up towards the top of this range it's that simple that's all i'm looking for on the four hour time frame now as an added confluence what i also take note of is swing structure okay so on the four hour i'm also looking at swing structure and that's simply going to give me an, a long-term direction and so all that is, is price moving, retracing, moving, retracing, moving. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is mark out my support and resistance like this. Okay. On the four hour. And then I'm going to take note of the swing points. So here's a swing low. Okay. Here is a swing high. Here's a swing low. Okay. And a swing high. And to me, if I've got two swing lows and two swing highs and price has broken out twice, I then count that as bullish momentum. OK, so we've got price retracing here, breaking the highs, retracing, breaking the highs. And that to me will immediately signal that we are long term bullish. I can still trade against that bias, however, but it is good to know that we are going in that direction. What I will not trade against, though, is if we are in this four hour range, if we're at the bottom, I will not take trades into this brick wall. If we're at the top, I will not take trades into this brick wall. And that's the hard rule of it. So let's have a look at an actual example on the charts from yesterday. Um, we're going to be having a look at an example that of a live trade we took yesterday in our discord, uh, which you can join for free in the description below. We trade live every single day in front of everybody. We've had results recorded for the last almost five months, and it's been a 70% win rate. All trades taken live on stream and recorded. So make sure that you join there and trade with us live. It's totally free. So essentially, what I would be looking at here is hopping onto the four hour and marking out 
our four hour support and resistance zones. So what am I going to look at? I'm going to look at where price has retraced from. So as you can see, price pushed and retraced at this area and it started rejecting this. So I'm going to simply mark out a zone right here. And what I like to do is I like to mark from the bottom, from the top, sorry, of the body of the candle to the wicks, okay? So you can see I included these wicks here because they are relatively close, okay? It's not an exact science, right? As long as you've roughly got the zone marked on. What we can also see is price pushed and retraced right here. So I'm going to mark that on here from the body of where the retracement started to the top of the wicks where it's been rejecting. And as you can see, price has been rejecting this zone in the future as well. So I'm gonna bring it all the way across to include this as well. So you can see we've got two nice zones there already. Okay, and then obviously this is where price is. So we're actually wanting to look, okay, is there any brick walls that could cause us issues over here? Um, and we've got one over here. So where price pushed and started to uh, reject here and so essentially this is where I'm trading within okay on the five minutes so you can see we're currently kind of like in the middle so we're okay to go sh long here or go short here however if we were up here and close to this area and we cannot get into a trade up here um, without going break even before hitting this wall then that's a no-go for me I will only be looking for sells or we could wait for this zone to get breached and then we can start to look for buys going up to the next zone, okay? Um, and that is how I mark out the four hour zones with this system. Again, it is a framework for you to take trades on the lower time frames in a safer way so that you're staying away from taking zone, uh, trades into zones that are significant on the four hour that are going to mess you up. You need to be aware of the higher time frame zones. So let's hop on to the next step of the system. So the next step is to be aware of the indicator that we use and our time window for trading. Our time window for trading is very short. We're on the charts for a maximum of an hour and a half, but generally our trades will be done between half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. After New York Open is when we trade. So for me, that's Central African time. It's 3.30 Central African time. For those on Eastern time, I believe it will be um, 9.30 in the US. That is when the New York Stock Exchange opens and that's when we trade. So we trade after that time period. Now, one rule you need to be aware of is that we do not trade the first five minute candle, okay? That is a hard rule. So as you can see here, this is the um, the first five minute candle was here at 3.30 for me. So I'm gonna draw a line here. This horizontal line represents the open of New York. And we do not trade in this candle. We wait for the first candle of New York open to close, okay? And as you see, it's for a good reason because there's a lot of manipulation that happens at that area, okay? So that's the first thing to take note of. The second thing is the indicator that we're using. We are using the 50 smooth moving, sorry, this 50 simple moving average, not the smooth moving average, the simple moving average. So we've got that on the chart here. You can simply look for it under indicators. Uh, if you look for moving average, you can just add moving average and then change the type to simple. So if you go into settings, you can see under inputs, you can ch you can change it to simple or you can just have SMA like this and the length is 50. Okay? So the simple moving average 50. Right? And then you'll have this line here. Okay? And it's very simple. If we are above the line, we're going to take buys. If we are below the line, we're going to take sells. Okay? And what we want generally, okay, so that is the hard rule. If we're above, we're going to take buys. If we're below, we're going to take sells. The soft rule is that we want to see, you know, as in almost like a confluence, that this is starting to curve up. If we're taking buys, that's a good sign. If it's curving down and we're taking sells, that's also a good sign, okay? It's not a necessity. It's just a confluence that we look at, 
okay so that's one of the key things so we're trading in between after 3 30 um p.m c.a.t or 9 30 eastern time okay when new york opens we're taking note of the 50 sma we're taking buys above it and we're taking sells below it okay those are the really important things to note in step two okay let's move on to step number three of the system and that is five minutes support and resistance we're simply looking for the range that's been generated on the five minute time frame so we only use two time frames for the strategy the first is the four hour and that's what we use to mark out our framework for entry so that we're not taking trades into very strong four hour zones that is going to mess us up we're then marking out that framework and trading on the five minute within those areas so what we're going to do is look for the five minute range that has been generated just before market open now we're looking for support and resistance zones that are at kind of the end of the range now what do you notice here there's a support and resistance here that was broken okay right here it was broken but what do we notice it's within a much larger range okay and so for me i'm going to be marking out this as the top of the range that i want to see broken after uh after the open and if we're looking for cells i'm going to be looking for this to be taken out okay this is the range that we're busy trading within i'm sure you can all agree this is the range we're busy trading within and we want price to break out to either one of those sides okay um, and we want to be trading within our four hour zones, okay, uh, which I have marked out. Don't believe they're visible on the chart right now. Um, but we are well within our four hour zone here as we marked out in the first step, okay? So what happened? Price broke out here, okay? And uh, we do not trade this five minute candle, remember? And then we're waiting for price to break out to either side. So let's go to the final step of the program. Now, putting all of these things together is pretty simple. Okay, we're looking at the entry. How do we actually get entered into the market? What is our risk reward? How do we manage the trade? Okay, we have framed up the four hour. We have got the confluence of our indicator. We have waited for the first five minute candle to close. Okay. Those are the important things to have noted. Okay. We have also marked out our five minute range that we're waiting for price to cross either this area or this area. Okay. Price opened. We did not trade the first five minutes. We are still within the range. We then broke out one candle later. Okay. It's also worth worthwhile to note that at uh, 10 a.m eastern time or 4 p.m central african time where we're at there is a news event so we want to be in and out of the market we do not want to be trading the news event a lot of prop firms do not allow you to trade the news event and so it's very important that you are in and out and it's also it can be unpredictable at that point okay then we're looking to enter into the market okay so what happened price broke and closed above the range price needs to break and close okay now what happens at this point once price is broken and closed you cannot just take a trade as price breaks it needs to break and close so wait for this candle to fully close then what we're looking for is for price to come back to this zone okay that we've marked out and start to reject at this zone and hesitate now what price has done here price has broken and just closed above so what we'd be looking for is price to retrace just a small amount and then we're looking for a rejection okay and you will see that happen in real time i can't show you that right now with bar replay um, as i said we took this trade in the discord um, I'll actually show that to you right now. As I said, we did take this trade live. I'll show a screenshot of me in the position on my futures account live, taking this trade on stream with everybody. And um, essentially price broke up here and closed. And we're looking for a retracement and a rejection at this zone. We started to have a rejection at this zone. And then 
we would hop into that position, okay, with a 20 pip stop loss, okay, the 20 pip stop loss and a 40 pip take profit, right? And then essentially, we just let the trade play out, okay? And it played out basically within one candle, as you can see. It retested, started to reject here, okay? It tested the zone. You can see the wick here. As it started to reject the zone, we hopped in here and took the whole move up. And it hit TP within one candle. And that's often what happens with this strategy. And so we started at half past three and by... 345 we were done <laughs> before the news event hit we were done already and we had already banked our profits okay now the rules for managing these trades like i said the first rule is make sure there's a rejection at the zone okay it starts to reject at the zone and hesitate where you've drawn it then you hop in and then you're looking to go break even when you're at a one-to-one -one risk reward so when you're at one-to-one -one risk reward you then set your stop loss at break even okay you then are gonna hold the full trade to one to two risk reward ratio and that's the exact system that i used to make forty-five thousand dollars in one month trading um, I also on Friday made $6,000 on my Ascend X prop account that I've just withdrawn today. And I'll post that as well um, on screen here. So if you want to be part of those live streams, it's totally free to join. Just click the link in the description down below. And I'll see you in the live streams every single weekday at New York Open. Cheers, everybody.